Hello, um, we're giving a short video here just showing how you would install FileZilla on a Mac and FileZilla is a program that allows us to transfer files between our computer and a server. So first we go to the download link. It detected that I'm on a Mac so we download that. We're going to take the free version When that's done, we're going to go to click on that to install it. When it's done installing, it should show up in my applications. So that was warning that this is not um, signed by Apple. All right, this is going to install. Okay, installation is done. Now I am, um, okay, so it went ahead and open. Let's just go back to where um, it lives now. So if I could go over to Finder, Applications, and it should show up in your list now. And so we're gonna type the host and a username and a password um, and you want to put in port 22 as listed as listed here um, port 22 is the secure port and if I say quick connect Um, would you like FileZilla to remember passwords? I'll say no for now. Um, do not save passwords. Okay, um, so you'll get a message on like this that says, do you want to trust this computer because it is a self-signed security certificate? That's fine. and we're connected. All right, so I have my password. If I left my password blank, then when I clicked connect, it would have asked for the password. And then you see local site here and remote site. So over here, this is these are the files that are on the server for this user. So this user was not many files there. Um, and then this is the files on my local computer. So if I look in my, this is all my local computer, and if I wanted to transfer a file, um, let's say I want to transfer this file over to this user, then I just click, click and drag. If I wanted to transfer a file going the other way, download from my CS account, then I could drag it over the other way. That's it. Um, if you want to, you can also um, go into the site manager and create a new site. So this would be, I could save this information and it will be on cs.indstate.edu, port 22, user cs 151, and maybe I'll type the password each time. So then if I open FileZilla again, then I can go up to my site manager, click there, and click connect. 